Hello YouTube and welcome to another video tutorial from Tutsup. This time I will quickly show you how to create this blob, or liquid effect animation on Adobe After Effect. So, let me begin by opening After Effect and creating a new composition with the name, Blob. My resolution will be 1920 by 1080, and the background color will be white. Now go ahead and click OK. Now after that, I will draw a circle using the ellipse tool, and make sure it has no stroke and give it a fill color of your choice. Now I will use this plugin that you will find its download link in the description, to place the anchor point of the circle at the middle of it, by clicking on the reposition button here. Now I will make the bubble wiggling effect when it grow up or shrink down. And to do that, I will reveal the scale option here by pressing S in the keyboard. And I will add a new keyframe here by clicking on the stopwatch icon. And after a couple frames I will make it bigger by changing the scale value to something like 137. After that by pressing the right arrow button while pressing the control button I will move the time indicator 3 frames forward. And I will add a new keyframe by clicking here. Now go ahead and repeat this 3 more times. After that select all the keyframes, and press F9 to make them easy ease. Now to make the wiggling effect I will go to the graph editor here. Make sure you are at the value graph here. And I will just zoom in here and begin the editing the graph like this. Make sure not to change the last keyframe to remain the same scale value at the end as we wanted it from the beginning of the animation which is 137. Now let's see how the animation looks like. And as you can see the animation is working as intended. I will just make the first scaling a little bit faster here. Perfect. Now I will make the shrink down animation. First I will copy the last keyframe here using the Ctrl C Ctrl V keyboard shortcut to get the last scaling value. And after a couple frames I will change the scale value back to 100%. Now the same what I did with the first animation I will quickly add 4 more keyframes. Also again I will give it the waving form in the graph editor. Now let's see the final result. And as you can see this animation is working as well. Now to make the next circle, I will just duplicate this one using the Ctrl plus D keyboard shortcut. And if you press S on the new layer you will see that we have the same animation duplicated. Now using the selection tool, move the new circle to the other side like this. Next I will draw the smaller circle using the ellipse tool. And I will place it to its first position here. And to make it animate I will reveal its position here by pressing P in the keyboard. And I will add new keyframe at the beginning, like this. And after a couple frames, change its position to go inside the other circle. 
press F9 after selecting the keyframes here to make them easy ease. Ok, now to make it came back I will just copy and paste the first two keyframes backward using Ctrl C and Ctrl V keyboard shortcut. Now I will quickly here reverse the animations from the first circle, so it will shrink down first and grow up after that. Now I will line up the two animations so it will look like the big circle begin shrinking up just at the time when the small circle came out of it. Now the other circle will begin growing up when the small circle go in. Ok, now do the same thing with the other way. Ok now let's see the animation. Look like everything is working fine. Now to make them look like liquid, I will add a new adjustment layer. And I will search for the fast blur effect in the effects and presets here. And I will drag it in the adjustment layer here. Next search for the simple choker effect and drag it in the adjustment layer as well. Now to simply make the wanted effect I will set the blurriness and the choke man value to 20. And just like that. The liquidy effect is working as intended as you can see. I will just give it some more time here by selecting all the keyframes, and while pressing on out in the keyboard drag the last keyframe like that. And the final result look as perfect as I wanted it to be. You can also make the layer change its colors, by making an animation from the color option of the shape. And I will show you how to do that quickly here. Now I will make the color go back by copying the keyframes using the Ctrl C and Ctrl V from the keyboard like this. And finally make the same thing with the other layer.
And this is the final result. Thank you guys I hope you have a lot of fun making this animation. So once again this is Abjulili with Tuts Up and I've got more tutorials coming up soon, please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it, you can also click the thumbnail and watch another design creation video from this channel. See you next time guys.